Hi, I'm Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living and raising a family in China. In this video, we're going to look at everything you need to know about VPNs and the internet in China. Let's check it out. So a VPN or virtual proxy network is needed in China because there are many blocked websites and apps that uh, the Chinese government don't allow you to access in China. There's a multitude of reasons, I'm not going to get into this, but basically a VPN allows you to circumnavigate these restrictions by tricking your computer into believing it is in some country outside of China, uh, which whatever you choose on your server, so it could be back home or it could even be Hong Kong, which is close to China and has fewer restrictions. First, VPNs are a grey area here in China. Technically speaking, uh, websites are blocked here for a reason, um, but there are some Chinese companies, especially those that work outside of China or have offices outside of China, that use them legally to conduct business and use a Chinese license provider. So companies like uh, Xiaomi and Huawei that have uh, their business in different countries uh, can get a VPN that's um, approved basically by the Chinese government. Many VPN providers, especially uh, foreign based, operate without that license. So technically I would say they're illegal, but they are mostly used by expats for personal use so often they can fly under the radar. When you hear about VPNs being banned and you will when you're living in China as there are many scare stories about basically these will often be uh, the commercial VPNs that are trying to be foreign providers of VPNs trying to get into the Chinese market um, in a big scale and getting um, banned that way or their local Chinese startups that are springing up but they don't have those licenses so they get banned. If you read articles about VPNs being banned in China really read into the fine print and see if it's for personal use for business use and don't believe into the scare. Second VPNs won't work all the time there are many um, sensitive anniversaries uh, in China, like the Tiananmen Square uh, incident, um, which around that time VPNs might get throttled or the restrictions might get higher, so you might have spottier service. Or political events, when there's some sort of national assembly or big political meeting, again, your VPN is likely to get spotty and there's not much that you can do about it. All your provider can do about it as Basically, the Chinese Internet Bureau that deals with uh, internet security uh, throttling up their restrictions and that's just the way it is. Your connections might be sporadic for a week or a couple of days as the security is ramped up and there's not really much you can do about it. China could shut down all the VPNs uh, if they wanted to in an instant and if you think that there'll be a VPN to circumnavigate that you're kind of kidding yourself. Third, there will always be connection problems more so at different times than others. It's generally because there's a consistent arms race between VPN providers and the Chinese government as the Chinese government improve their net security the foreign VPN providers have to catch up to that or try and get ahead of that and sometimes there's overlaps and it basically just means at that point you're probably going to have maybe a bit of some sporadic connection or some issues. The best thing that you can do is to keep updating your app. Uh, if you're having some connection problems, let the customer service for your providers know and you know they'll maybe try and give you some advice on different channels you could switch over to. Fourth, there isn't a best VPN provider. 
like I said, uh, there's lots of things that are outside of VPN providers control um, and they can't really do much about that. People switch VPNs like they're a trendy fashion icon. They hear that, wow, uh, this VPN's connection's got really good, so they just switch over to that VPN and that continues to whatever is supposedly working really well at this current period of time. Basically, all that's doing is drawing attention to that particular VPN provider. The more attention that provider gets, the higher they get on the Chinese radar, uh, and thus then they will start to receive spotty connection until that time when people complain about the VPN provider and then listen for the next big thing, go over to that, and the cycle repeats itself again. That's why we suggest you stick with a VPN provider that gives you good customer service. Because at least you know that you're always going to be able to talk to someone in English and they're going to try and resolve your problems for you. If they can't resolve those problems, at least you're going to get a, a timeline of when things might be back to a better service. You can try switching between different VPNs uh, maybe they might work better, some might work better for whatever system you're using than others. You know, it's worth a shout, but what I'm saying is, you know, there's no VPN unicorn out there that's not going to have uh, any problems. It's going to be perfect 100% of the time. It's just not a realistic idea for you to have of how VPNs work. Fifth, a slow connection might not be only your VPN provider's fault. Uh, the internet here can be really hit and miss. Make sure that you have the best internet plan uh, from your provider, be it from data on your phone or from um, whatever telecom you have in your apartment. And make sure that the router that you have, especially at home, can facilitate the speeds that you're paying for. Maybe you're paying for a really high bandwidth, but the router that you have doesn't support those. So you're always gonna have slow connection no matter what VPN you use. Six, get tech savvy. You can't rely on repairman and tech guys in China. Uh, often, if they're local, they can't explain to you uh, what the problem is and you probably don't have the Chinese level to actually understand uh, what they're trying to say as it'll be technical in that nature. So it's really difficult for you to try and outsource your problems and get a fix like you would back home. In China, you have to take the initiative, educate yourself and slowly build up your knowledge on how to fix your own internet and connection problems. That's why we suggest having a, a VPN provider that provides good customer service, that has dealt with uh, expats that maybe aren't so tech savvy, that they can walk through and guide on how to improve their system. Also, check out YouTube videos um, and other articles on the internet and get yourself up to speed. What we'll do to help you out, we'll put some links to our recommended VPN providers and some uh, good routers or routers, depending on where you're from, uh, to buy that you could either bring with you or get here in China on Taobao or at a local store that you can use uh, to increase your internet speeds. If you found that video informative, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Bye bye.